My name is Lance McNamara. I'm the Health Service Manager Athletic Trainer for Barrow County School System. We're at Winder Barrow's High School practice today covering football and, and one of the things that we're always concerned about this time of the year is looking at heat illnesses, environments, things of that nature. So today we're going to discuss a little bit about what the athletic trainers do at Appalachia High School, at Bassa, as well as Winder Barrow High School. Athletic trainers play a key role in the safety of the student athlete. We're involved in injury prevention, injury recognition, rehabilitation, counseling, but probably one of the key things is looking at environmental conditions. This unit here is called a wet bulb globe temperature unit. Many years ago, we would kind of focus on what's called the heat index. Heat index is great. It focuses on heat, the te dry temperature, as well as humidity. Wet bulb has been used by the United States military, primarily the Marine Corps, and they use three components. The radiance of the sun, the humidity that we have, as well as a dry temperature. That gives a mathematical computation, and then that point gives a number, and that number determines what modifications that we utilize for practice. So that number could be a green flag, a yellow flag, an orange flag, red flag, and a black flag. A black flag. When this, when this device gets to 92%, we have what's called a black flag, which means there's no physical activity whatsoever. When the number gets below 92, we get to 90 to 92, we're in what's called a red flag. That red flag is based upon time. We do not allow athletes to participate in the weather for more than 60 minutes. They have no equipment on whatsoever. But within that 60 minutes of activity, they're really only performing 40. They do 20 minutes of, of water rest breaks embedded. We get to orange. Orange is from 89 down to 86. Orange means that we just have to watch the at-risk individuals. We be sure that we have at least four water breaks per hour within a two-hour practice. We get down to yellow, which is below our 86, and that's discretionary. We just kind of have to make sure our kids are, have access to water. We give them plenty of water breaks, and we kind of watch the at-risk. Anything below 82 is called green, which we don't have many issues from that. However, when we get to the score of 88, we also have to set up what's called a cool zone. So over here, a cool zone is that we happen to have a shade of tent. We have a water immersion tank that we can drop 30 gallons of ice water into a tank, about 58 degrees. We then place the individual into that tub and we reduce our core temperature quite effectively. So hopefully we never have to get to that because we are monitoring. We have unlimited water breaks for the student athlete. And because of our athletic trainers and our coaches, we focus on the students. In conclusion, Barrow County Schools is committed to student safety, not just in the classroom, but also in the athletic environment. We have athletic trainers that has their responsibility to work with our coaches to be able to identify potential injuries, whether it be through just competition, play, or the environment. So again, we've got some very good policies and procedures set in place to protect the student athlete. Thank you again, and remember, go dogs, go Wildcats, Go Blazers.